Welcome back everyone. Today we'll be discussing the Off-White Air Force One BKM Green Spark. Specifically, we will be discussing some release info, how to cop, and of course, some resale prediction. Actually, we don't need to discuss resale for these. We obviously know how these are going to perform. The Off-White Air Force One BKM Green Spark will be releasing very soon. The Figures of Speech exhibition at the Brooklyn Museum will be starting in July. Evidently, the drop is right around the corner. Now, as for a precise date and time, these are details that will be posted within Endurance, as I'm not allowed to reveal them publicly for obvious reasons, just like any shock drop. But the good news is that we will be having a very limited Endurance restock on this Sunday, June 26th at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, 10 p.m. CEST via the Endurance Twitter. Now, while Nike sneakers early information is, of course, extremely useful for drops like this or any other form of a shock drop on Nike sneakers, I still urge you to peruse Endurance's website, considering early information, let alone just for Nike, is only one of the numerous resources and competitive advantages that we do offer. For example, just this morning, members had another cookout on the Snipes Dunk restock thanks to our bypass. So, if you're interested, be sure to follow the Endurance Twitter. Regardless, though, let's continue with the video. Retail will be $160 for these. Stock on these is very low at just a few thousand pairs, that is under 10,000, although it's supposed to be slightly higher than the ICA stock. That of which you should be seeing on the screen right now via cash. And again, regarding resale, I think this one is pretty obvious. Clearly, these are going to be extremely profitable with an incredible margin, just like the MCA and just like the ICA before these. Now, regarding how to cop these, there will be one very good opportunity specifically, two decent opportunities, and one other one as well. To start, one of the decent opportunities I mentioned would be the off-white website dropping these. Now, while this is a decent opportunity, you should still expect the site to crash constantly and experience numerous errors. Now, take the word decently with a grain of salt because what I mean by decent chance is, of course, respective to this shoe being in extremely high demand. Regardless, manual copying is definitely possible here, especially if you have Gargantua AIO or if you are in Endurance. The reason being is because the Off-White website has actually been doing their drops off of a subdomain recently, if you haven't noticed, and this subdomain uses a waiting room format for their queue, and this is one of the types of queues that Gargantua does have a bypass for. Contrary to QWIT, these wouldn't be bypass links that you simply click, however. Rather, they would be bypass cookies, which you simply need to inject into your Chrome browser. But don't worry if that sounds a little confusing or intimidating. For one, it's still possible to cop without bypassing, although you will, of course, need luck on your side, and you're going to have to be very, very patient. There's a good chance it will take you hours to try to cop these. That's how long some of these drops end up taking. And two, if you happen to have Gargantua or or are in endurance there is a guide of course on how to use these bypass cookies already which makes it very easy and of course if you have an off-white bot such as gargantua you'll want to make use of that and make sure you are set up beforehand for those who are interested in trying out gargantua whether you want to use it as a bot or just for the manual bypass cookies we will be restocking on june 26th sunday at 8 p.m eastern time however i do highly encourage you to use our other modules in the bot whether that's for sneaker or retail first come first serve module raffle modules, freebie food, or even the Q bypass for things like the upcoming NFT Hot Wheels drop, which should be good easy profit too. Now, the reason I emphasize this is because the off-white drop is not 100% confirmed. The MCA dropped online, but on the other hand, the ICA pair actually did not drop. Personally, I believe there's a very high likelihood that these do drop, since off-white has been dropping their pairs pretty consistently ever since they adopted this new type of drop format with the subdomains. But regardless, I just want to emphasize that you shouldn't buy Gargan just for the off-white drop alone there's much more value in the other modules that we offer as well so be sure to take a look at those as well now as for the other decent opportunity we have the off-white canary yellow website out of nowhere they recently started dropping off-white pairs here again including the dunks jordan twos and even the ica air force one however the time and date for this site would be completely random um just for example the ica released on this website many many months um after the drop of course it just happened recently so if you're in a cook group, of course, make sure you do have notifications enabled for your Shopify monitor. Even though it is Shopify, I still see a lot of manual success on these drops since the timing is so unexpected and random. If you don't have a cook group, Soul Links will also tweet this out or even my Twitter, KeithAdam10. And I still see people on Twitter cop these. So even if you can't afford a cook group, Hope is still alive, even though, of course, you are going to be at a slight disadvantage. I still suggest trying. Obviously, it's not going to hurt to give it your best effort. As for the worst opportunity... 
Empty Gallery should be hosting a raffle like they always do for these. Your chances of winning are slim to none, but I wanted to mention it anyway since it can hurt to enter and try your luck anyway. I will try to tweet this out when it does go live, of course. Twitter is KeithAdam10. And finally, for the best opportunity there is, we have the Nike sneakers drop. While I'm not allowed to reveal any of the precise early information for this particular drop, what I can do is explain precisely how the prior two pairs were released, being the Off-White Air Force One MCA and the ICA. Both of these ended up releasing via a sneaker stash shock drop. Now, in a nutshell, what a sneaker stash shock drop is, it's a shock drop that requires you to be in a specific location in order to cop on the Nike sneakers app. But regardless, Regardless, they do still ship to your home address, and that could be anywhere within the United States. So obviously, contrary to the Nike sneakers pass, you don't have to pick this up. It will ship to your house, and that could be anywhere within the United States. However, you don't actually have to be there physically. You can instead spoof the location on your own mobile device. Very rarely, they do require Bluetooth, such as drops with 100 stock or so, like we saw on the yellow Fear of God drop a long time ago, and thus spoofing would not work in that case. But this is extremely rare in general and has yet to occur at all on a drop with high stock such as these off-white drops or even a Travis drop, a Union drop, etc. So I would not worry at all if I were you. And this is of course for obvious reasons. I think Nike understands that if they were to drop thousands of stock and require Bluetooth within a small radius, it would get pretty chaotic and extremely violent. As for the location, the prior two pairs were in Chicago for the MCA and Boston for the ICA, both at their respective museums where the exhibitions were hosted. This year, the exhibition is going to be held in Brooklyn, as most of you know. Now, that doesn't mean any location in Brooklyn will work to spoof to. It all depends on how large they make the radius, of course. Now, how exactly do you spoof? Well, it's super easy. First, if you have an Android, there are plenty of free apps that work just fine. Unfortunately, for iPhone users, you will need external software on a laptop or computer and plug your phone in with a USB cord. In Endurance, we actually offer a location spoofer completely free to all members, but I do understand that not all of you will be able to join Endurance due to the limited spots, so I got your back too. I don't want you guys to have to pay $35 for a single iTools key, so what I did was buy a bunch of them in bulk and I put them on my website TARS, so if you are interested interested in spoofing, you could obviously pick it up here for just a couple of bucks. This definitely comes in handy, not just for a drop like this, passes, other location-based type drops on other apps, or even telling your wife you're at work when, in reality, you're grabbing drinks with the boys. Now, the most important part is obviously knowing when to spoof, the precise time and date. This is something that will be posted in Endurance beforehand, as always when it comes to any type of shock drop, but even if you can't get into Endurance due to limited spots, I will also tweet out when it actually does go live, and you could try to spoof super quickly and still have a chance of copying if you're fast enough, but if you're interested in trying to get into Endurance, again, the restock will be on Sunday, June 26th at 4pm Eastern Time, 10pm CEST via the Endurance Twitter. And also, don't forget that we will be doing the Gargantua restock just a couple of hours later on the same day, Sunday, at 8 p.m. Eastern Time via the Gargantua AIO Twitter. Now, if you're still a bit confused on how to spoof, don't worry, it's super easy. In fact, it's so easy that I'll let my 2018 self explain the process to you. Step 1, plug your Apple device into your computer with your USB cord. Step 2, open the application iTools. If this is your first time, you'll also need to register your two keys in the upper right hand corner. The long key goes in the big box, of course. Step 3, click virtual location on the main UI. Step 4, enter the address or coordinates that you desire to spoof your location to. This will be the location where the sneaker stash is located. Then, feel free to use the Snapchat or Apple Maps to verify that you have indeed moved your location officially. Make sure you don't accidentally spoof to a gentleman's club or else you might have some explaining to do to your wife. Now, if you're still a little nervous and you have no idea what a sneaker stash looks like, don't worry. I recorded my live cop on the ICA drop so you could see exactly how these types of drops work, so I'll let that play now. And with that, of course, good luck on copying these. Sunday, July 29th, 2019. The Off-White MCA released via a sneaker stash located in Chicago. Bluetooth was disabled. It was a free-for-all. I was reluctant enough to cop three pairs myself. When I had first received the intel that this was going to occur, little did I know that I would be responsible for over $500,000 in cumulative profit in a matter of just a few minutes. It was 
the best day of my life, to say the least. Fast forward, July 10th, 2021. This was not your normal shock drop. Preparation is key for a sneaker stash. Most people did not even have a spoofer. While Endurance members had access to a free custom-coded spoofer we made for them, you could have even bought a pair similar to a program called iTools from my own website that I usually tell you about, TARS. I specifically organized this for you guys so you wouldn't have to pay $30 for a pack of keys and instead could only buy one. The link for this site, by the way, is in the description below. The night prior, I got my devices ready to spoof since I knew it was going to occur at 10 a.m. Eastern. Then comes 10 a.m. Eastern. They load on the app. Before trying for myself, of course, I tweeted out to you guys. I have your back. Make sure to follow me if you haven't already for these urgent notifications. There was a problem when they loaded though. Nike failed to load the actual hunt for it and they actually only loaded the front end page. This is a common occurrence that usually occurs with sneaker stashes. It was not until two minutes later that they would load the actual hunt itself. But I knew this and I knew I had to restart my app. After restarting my app, I realized it would still not load for me. I had to restart several more times until it finally showed. At this point, only 75% of stock was left and I was losing hope. After my first attempt to purchase the app kicked me back to the homepage, frustrated, I prevailed. I went to try again, keeping my hope alive. It felt like an eternity waiting for that payment to go through. Then finally, relief. Unfortunately, my performance was not nearly as good as the MCA drop. Despite having multiple devices ready, the technical issue on Nike's end really hit me hard this time. It is what it is though, I'm not complaining at all. I was very happy to see that many of Endurance members actually got many more than me, many getting two to four pairs and one even getting five for himself. Overall, it was indeed a mission success. Since I already have the MCA, I will likely be selling these, but I might change my mind when they do come in depending on how they look. Regardless though, I was more happy with the success in the group, that's what I live for. For those interested, I'll roll the clip right now so you can see for yourself. Feel free to follow Endurance on Twitter for restocks or key giveaways. Other than that though, signing out, mission success.